chào các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của tôi Hy vọng các video sẽ mang lại cho các bạn sự thỏa mãn giải trí hàng ngày Nếu thấy hay hãy cho tôi một like và chia sẻ để mọi người cùng theo dõi Nếu thấy không hay cũng hãy cho tôi một like và để lại ý tưởng của bạn ngay dưới phần bình luận Ngay bây giờ hãy ấn đăng ký theo dõi kênh Brown cysts. Where are these bumps on your body? Fungal acne or pitoris folliculitis is most common on the upper back, the chest and shoulders, but it can also occur on the face, although that is less often. So when it is on the face, you will most likely see it on the forehead and around the hairline or the chin. They tend to occur in clusters or little crops and they can be very itchy. Do you have acne that has been treated with oral antibiotics? If so, this can increase your risk of developing fungal acne. This is because the antibiotics do a really good job of killing the acne causing bacteria on our skin, which makes more room for the yeast to overgrow and take over unchecked. No more crowding them out, they just grow rapidly. Do you have super oily skin? Yeast love oil and it's a great environment for them to grow like wild. So this is much more commonly seen in those with very oily skin types. Do you have stubborn acne that just won't totally clear up despite being on good treatment treatment and being consistent? If so, it's possible that you have a component of fungal acne as well. Do you sweat a lot? If you work out a lot or work outside, or if you live in a hot and humid environment, these are all a setup for developing fungal acne. Sweating, wearing occlusive clothing or headgear, specifically in the summertime when it is humid, can really flare fungal acne. And lastly, it's more common in patients who are immunocompromised, meaning that they have a suppressed immune system, therefore they are more likely to develop develop infections. So patients taking certain medications that lower the immune system or organ transplant patients, for example, or hospitalized patients are more likely to have this condition. Overall, I think this is probably an under-recognized diagnosis and more people might actually have this than we've realized in the past. What is very likely in many patients is that they have a component of both common acne and pterosporum folliculitis, but it's just all getting lumped together and diagnosed as just acne and treated as just acne and therefore not completely clearing up and leaving you really frustrated. So this diagnosis really needs to be thought of more often, evaluated for, and treated appropriately.